Okay, for this sketchbook, what I want us to look at is the same thing that we did in last week's sketchbook where we're drawing fabric with tension points. But this time, once we get the fabric drawn in, we're going to add stripes to the fabric to show that we understand how the fabric edge and the flow of the folds influences what stripes on that fabric would do. It's gonna show off the dimensionality of the fabric. So I'll just kick off with an example of a one tension point piece of fabric. And I'm just doing this with graphite. And these are exaggerated again. If we were drawing from an actual setup, we would be using what that setup is telling us to decide what the fabric edge is doing. This is just my willy-nilly stand-in for, for the real thing. Okay, so there's my piece of fabric. Now I have to figure out what are stripes going to do on this fabric. And I'm gonna use this fabric edge as an example. And it's really kind of straightforward in this example, but it's not always gonna be straightforward. You kind of have to, sometimes you just have to imagine like what would the stripe be doing? And if you're looking at something, it can help feed you that information a lot better. So for this fabric, it's a simple single tension point at the top. And so all of my folds are kind of pipe folds that head up to that point. So I can almost just copy whatever this fabric edge is doing. I can just copy it up the fabric and get a decent sense of some stripes. So it's gonna roll down here, just like it does over there. Up, there, down here. I'm gonna do this one lightly so I can see where it might be on the back side, right about there. So I just copied this loop in its entirety up here lightly, and then I've bolded it up where I would actually see the stripe. This is a good exercise to do just to remind you how fabric tends to behave. So now I've got a stripe on the bottom of that fabric. Let's throw another one in. It's not always gonna be a perfect match. The further away from the fabric, fabric edge you get, the more this fabric might start doing other things. Again, a reference would tell you that more clearly. For this one, we can just pretend. And maybe I'll just do one more here. So you can see this repetitive thing is really showing off the folds of that fabric rather aggressively, which is kind of nice. Okay, and I could carry that all the way up the fabric as well. Let's look at one where there's two tension points. This would be the same thing if there was a tension bar like curtains. Instead of getting smaller as they went up, they'd just follow along those curtains, you know, wrapping in and out and in and out and in and out. All right, this one's gonna be a little trickier to do. What would the stripes be doing on this fabric? And which way would they be going? Am I gonna go across it like this again? Or maybe I should do vertical stripes. That'll show off these folds a little bit better. I think for me, the vertical stripes are gonna be easier to describe because my folds go this way. If my vertical stripes went opposite that, then I could go in and out like that a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna start somewhere with a line and pretend this is where you really have to get your imagination in on the game. Okay, maybe this fabric starts straight. And then like right through here, it seems like something's going on. Like maybe it comes out and folds. It could go in and then back out. It's not, it's not dead set what's happening here yet, but I, I think I kind of like the idea of it going in like that and then out like that. And that's kind of arbitrary, but it's like the, describing maybe this being a roll of fabric. So if this is coming through here, it's gonna tuck under and probably peek out like this. Yeah, that's how that stripe will go. And I've got some lines here that are kind of making me feel like it ducks in and then back out. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call that my stripe. Now that I have this, I can use it to kind of grow those stripes. The fabric has to kind of obey what it's gonna do. That would probably be a little more drastic. There's another stripe. These can change, and as they get closer to the tension point, chances are they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot more overlapping. Out here in the middle, it's likely that it's gonna mellow out a little bit. See, those are swooping out, out, and out. So I'm gonna do that one out. And these are swooping this way, this way, and we'll say this way, and we'll add a little thing at the bottom. And I'm just using my imagination here. This is great practice to get used to how to describe the forms. These go 
across the contour, so they're really good at describing, these stripes are really good at describing the flow of that fabric. This is turning into a strong roll, so I'm just gonna put the edge there, help myself out a little bit. And these aren't perfect by any means, but they're gonna give us a good sense of flow as long as we're consistent here. This is a new piece of fabric. It's like folds that are coming off of the this tension point up here. So I'm just gonna do my fabric in a different orientation. That's just based on I wanted to repeat this bottom edge up. And anyway, so I could carry that on the rest of that drawing. That's how I would either repeat this fabric edge up the fabric to get a sense of stripes or invent a stripe, sort of imagining my way down and then just repeating it with slight changes throughout the fabric. 